Two other critical areas that often contribute to water intrusion problems are deck ledgers and roof-to-wall connections. Deck ledgers often create challenges due to their sequence in the building process. They are rarely integrated with the weather barrier because the Z-flashing is often installed after the house has been covered with building paper or house wrap. This allows water to leak behind the flashing and potentially create decay at the house-to-ledger connection. Failure at the deck ledger can be catastrophic. If the deck separates from the building, it can cause injury. The easiest way to solve this problem is to make sure the drainage layer is installed shingle fashion over the Z-flashing. This can be done by installing the ledger after the house wrap is installed, then cutting it and sliding the Z-flashing behind the house wrap or building paper. Another solution is to create an airspace between the deck ledger and the house. Roof-to-wall intersections have become a common source of water intrusion problems. Roofing contractors often install the roofing felt and step flashing after the house wrap has been installed. Any water passing the cladding and draining down the house wrap will enter the building behind the step flashing. The solution is to cut the house wrap one inch off the roof deck, roll it up, and tape it out of the way of the roofer. At this point, the roofer will install roofing felt and step flashing. Next, the house wrap can be dropped back on top of the step flashing and fastened. The same steps can be followed with the shed roof. In this case, the shed flashing is secured to the sheathing with a self-adhering membrane tape, and the house wrap is then dropped down and fastened. Another source of water intrusion and unsightly stains occurs where the roof overhang meets a wall. We recommend at this location that the first flashing installed is kick-out flashing. This kick flashing will divert the water away from the wall and prevent it from staining the cladding.